Dear students, today I am going to teach you one question related to measurement and angle. The question is like this. The tip of minute hand of a clock has moved at a distance of 31.416 cm in 15 minutes. Find the length of the minute hand of the clock. Okay. So now look at here. In 15 minutes, in, 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 if it is, it is a clock like this, look at here. Minute hand will be here. And if this minute hand move for 15 minutes up to here, it will reach. Now, what is the angle made by this minute hand that we need to find out first of all? Then after finding the this one angle, then we can find out the uh, length of the minute hand, okay? Now, look at here. First of all, here it is given, the given part let us write down here. This much centimeter. A uh, minute hand of a clock has moved the distance of 31 by so minute hand tip of the minute hand we will move from here to here so this distance means it is arc here so l here so here we can write like this length of arc that is l equals to 31.416 centimeter it is given to us now after this time is given here time time of minute hand is equals to 15 minute it is given to us 15 minute time is given now what is the angle made by the minute hand in 15 minute let us calculate so in 60 minute minute hand turn through 360 degree so in one minute like this type already also i have taught in previous chapter also see while moving one whole round like this it will make 360 degree so to move whole round like this it will take 60 minutes time so in 60 minute time it will make 360 degree so in one minute time minute hand Turn through 360 divided by 60. This much degree. Now the time is 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes we will calculate. In 15 minutes minute hand turn through this one cancel 6 6 are 36 so 6 times 15 so 6 times 15 90 90 degree angle it will make so this degree we need to convert this is theta okay so this we need to convert theta into radian then 90 divided times pi by 180 degree okay so 92 za. so this means pi means 22 by 7 times 2 so this also we can cancel 11 so 11 times by 7 radian this is the angle in radian okay we got angle in radian like this see we are converting this degree into radian so this all we got in radian okay theta equals to this much now we have we are asked to find the length of the minute and this much length we are asked to find so we got l here l is this much and then uh, theta we got theta is this one 11 by 7 radian now we need to find out the length of this one that is radius okay so radius we need to find out so we have theta is equals to l by r this is the formula to find out the unknown quantity theta here is 11 by 7 is equals to l is here already given is 31.416 so we can write here 31.416 divided by r so r if you cross multiply if you cross multiply you will get r equals to 31.416 times 7 divided by 11 so this will be equals to now you can use this since it is decimal quantity here you can use your calculator 31.416 416 times 7 divided by 11 if you do then you will get 19.99 this is 19.99 almost 20 centimeter okay so we can write r means length of the 
minute hand. So therefore, the the length of see we are asked to find the length of the minute hand of the clock. So the length of minute hand of clock is equals to nineteen point nine nine centimeter. Okay, thank you for watching this video.